The North American lobster pine is the result of the most spectacular breakthrough in recent molecular maritime science. The Gulf of Maine is generally known for its crispy clear waters, the countless romantic islands, and the quiet beauty of the villages along the shoreline. On the other hand, the life of a lobsterman is fraught with hardship and danger. Braving the elements of the ocean while setting lobster traps from small boats 20 miles off the coast of Maine is one of the most dangerous jobs men ever pursued in order to feed their families. That was years ago, before a lonely tree by the seashore near the Pemaquid River attracted a scientific genius. Could he implant the DNA of lobster eggs into a common maritime pine and make the crawling objects grow on trees? It sure was a daring thought. And then he did it. Let's listen to his own words. My background is in um, environmental science and marine science. Uh, I did graduate work in uh, oceanography at the University of Maine before I started this business. The females uh, clap their shells together, releasing clouds of eggs into the water. And the males uh, have, have spewed sperm into the water. The sperm cells fertilize the eggs. When the eggs are fertilized, each egg is roughly 60 microns. A micron is one one thousandth of a millimeter. With many patents still pending, we are permitted only to have a glance at his laboratory. Is it cell fusion or nuclear transplantation? There are so many burning questions. Six months later, the results are spectacular. The lobsters have come to maturity. They begin to crawl out from the center of the lobster pines, where they have been hiding during the hot summer days. This is the time of harvest, and what a harvest it is. Most lobsters are red when they are harvested, yet they also come in yellow, blue, brown, and even with tiger stripes. They can grow up to 14 pounds. This is a spectacular scientific breakthrough. A whole new industry has sprung up in Maine since the creation of the lobster pine. After they have been harvested, the lobsters are processed in local factories here. Some of the meat is removed from the shell, vacuum packed, and finally shipped out by trucks throughout the night, across thousands of miles, to all four corners of the world, to the delight of many lobster lovers.